It's time! And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Adesanya is 31. Cerrone is 37. Adesanya is three inches tall. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of it. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Good takedown defense by Israel. Big punch lands through the middle. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Whiffs on the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. Back to the jab now, no good. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. This they talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's time. Oh! Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Might be a submission attempt here, Sam. I mean, you can't... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit arm right. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, he picks him up and slams him down! Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that arm bar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it, though. Yes. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Both fighters now ready to go with round two. Ready? Israel out of sight. And that man, Donald Cerrone. Adesanya's kick attempt, that one was blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 
So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40%. Now 38% on the connections against Donald Cerrone. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big call for what's land. Now he gets back to range. And the Cerrone takedown defense is there. Right hand punch to the team. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Effective jab there by Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, big left. So just as we saw in the previous round, really starting to find a home for that hook here in round two. I watched him land hook after hook in round one. We start the second round, and he goes right back to the well. But why would he? He has one of the best hooks in the entire game. So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at 16 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, Israel! moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. 